Here's example 17 of solving trig equations. So here we have cosecant squared of theta minus cosecant theta minus 2 equals 0. And we're solving in this interval 0 to 2 pi. So that just means 0 less than or equal to theta, strictly less than 2 pi. Okay, so this one's actually a little bit simpler than the uh, previous few examples because here uh, we are going to make a substitution, but we don't have to do anything before that. So that's nice. So notice here we have a cosecant, and then here's a cosecant being squared. So we have a thing, and then that same thing being squared. So it kind of reminds us of a quadratic equation, right? Uh, and, and it is an equation of quadratic type because we do have a thing, and then that same thing squared. So what we're going to do is say uh, let a equal cosecant of theta, then a squared equals cosecant of theta, that whole thing squared. And then a short way of writing that is just cosecant squared of theta. Okay. So um, how does that help us? Well, now this here, this is a squared, and this here is a. So then the equation just becomes a squared, and then we have a minus sign here, uh, minus a, and then minus 2 equals 0. Okay. Now this here, this equation isn't so complicated, but this one here is uh, definitely easier to work with. It's more familiar uh, to us. It's just a plain old regular quadratic equation with the variable a. So a squared minus a minus 2 equals 0. How do we solve that? Well, a few different ways, but uh, we can factor this, so let's go ahead and go that route. So if we factor that, we are going to get a plus 1 times a minus 2 equals 0. Okay. So then um, a plus 1 equals 0 or a minus 2 equals 0. So then that gives us a equals negative 1 or a equals 2. Okay. Now we're not done yet, right? We're not solving for a, we're solving for theta. So now we have to back substitute um, to get our theta back. So a is the cosecant of theta. So if a is negative 1, then cosecant of theta is negative 1. And if a is 2, then the cosecant of theta is 2. Okay. So now what? Well, now we'll come up here. We'll say, OK, uh, cosecant of theta is negative 1, or cosecant of theta is positive 2. Okay, so we'll just rewrite those there. Um, now, we can think about this in terms of cosecants, but if you're not really comfortable with cosecants, uh, that's okay. They're not really, um, some of the, it's not really one of the more common trig functions. We're probably more used to working with sines and cosines and tangents. Um, if you're okay to go from here, uh, that's totally fine. But if you need to convert to sines and cosines and all that, uh, that's also fine. So here, uh, cosecants, um, well, negative one and two, these are special values associated with cosecants on the unit circle, so that's great. But if that doesn't jump out at you, then what we can do is say, okay, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So what this says is 1 over sine theta equals negative 1. And this one says 1 over sine theta equals positive 2. So here, multiply both sides by sine theta, and then we get 1 equals negative sine theta. And then do the same thing over here, multiply both sides by sine theta, and we get 1 equals 2 sine theta. Now over here, uh, divide both sides by negative 1, or multiply both sides by negative 1, you get the same result. But anyway, you get uh, negative 1 equals sine of theta. And then over here, divide both sides by 2, and we get 1 half equals the sine of theta. Now hopefully this will be a little easier to think about. So uh, sine of theta equals 1 half, sine of theta equals negative 1. So 1 half and negative 1, those are both special numbers uh, associated with the sine function on the unit circle. So now what we can do is think about, okay, uh, sine of theta equals negative 1. Which theta or thetas between 0 and 2 pi have sine of theta equal negative 1? Well, there's actually only one such value, and it's theta equals 3 pi over 2. Because the sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1, and that's the only value of theta between 0 and 2 pi, uh, like this, that has sine of theta equal to negative 1. How about sine of theta equals 1 half? So again, just a matter of knowing the unit circle. And if we think about, okay, which theta or thetas between 0 and 2 pi have sine of theta equal to 1 half? So if we think about the unit circle, then we just get theta equals pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. Okay, and that's pretty much it uh, for example 17. But again, if you're comfortable with cosecant, you could say, okay, cosecant of theta equals negative 1. Uh, if I think about the unit circle, then theta equals 3 pi over 2. Or cosecant of theta equals 2. If I think about the unit circle, then I know theta equals pi over 6, 5 pi over 6. But if you're not so comfortable with cosecants, just remember, okay, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. 
So cosecant to theta is one over sine of theta. So let me get these in terms of just sine of theta. And then we'll end up here. And then these will uh, hopefully be more familiar and easier to work with. Uh, the sines hopefully be better than the uh, cosecants. And then from there, it's really just a matter of knowing the unit circle. And that's it for example 17 of solving trig equations, uh, 3 pi over 2, pi over 6, and 5 pi over 6.